How's it going, YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. I hope you guys are doing well. Got a special treat for you guys today. Got a special guest here, and he brought one of his own Gunpla for him to do a review. It's a pretty rare Gunpla when you get down to it, but I'm going to turn the floor over to our guest commentator, as well as his guest Gunpla. So with that, sir, I will relinquish the chair, and you are now on. Hello everyone, it's Max Duo, either from Nowhere in Particular or the podcast at this point. As I said, as I said before, my podcast, or my website's been, been uh, I can't speak, so I'm just gonna mess up with that. Okay, but anyway, uh, I had a website 15 or so years ago, it's long gone, so that's why I say Nowhere. The gun pl I brought is, boom, the gun tank from F91. Uh, I was looking into this a bit recently, it's... From April 1991, $600, or, yeah, oh god, that'd be a horrible, 600 yen kit, uh, so if we were lucky here, that would be like seven, eight dollars, but before we show anything about it, quick show off of, this is what its size is, that's it next to a high grade, fantastic, um, but I mean, it definitely shows its age, but at the time, when I first built it, about 15 years ago, it was a favorite, it was really solid. At this point it's old and been sitting around for forever, so it's not nearly as amazing as it used to be because it used to feel rock solid. It felt like a toy rather than a model that you put together. Uh, but very briefly I will show off the incredibly limited articulation of this almost 25 year old kit. Head is kind of blocked by the cannons, so yeah. It looks up and down a tiny amount. And you have his fun the funky kitchen, no, uh, the funky kitchen, yes. I'll rename it, I guess. But it doesn't do much. It's got another feature, but that's going to be hidden for now. Uh, the guns, they only move about 45 degree angle. They've also got a bit soft at, it, at this point, so sometimes they, they fall down like that. Uh, arms, obviously there's nothing in the way, so they can spin. They can lift pretty pitifully. The elbows, which you can't see real great. The elbows only do about a 40, what is that, maybe barely under 90% or 90 degree angle. It does have a really weird one though. What's that? I have no clue. It's not even used in the transformation. It just bends in this really awkward way. Uh, legs, Nothing fantastic. I mean, they can lift forward, but that's partially for transformation. Here's its fantastic knee articulation. Uh, you... What? 30 degrees? Yeah. That's understandable, though. It's old. It's like $6. It can go most of the way back. You have to turn it to the side a bit. You've got his treads in the back. Nothing really useful for now. And that's, you know, that's really about it. He doesn't do anything fantastic. The toes do this, but that's for the transformation. So that's its mobile suit form. And again, what a great mobile suit it is because let's bust out one of the granddaddies again. Yeah. Cannons are big, except really not that big. But that's fine, whatever. Uh, but here is the transformation in all its glory. Flip those up, legs up. Take the back part, put those treads down. Aim forward. And you have something that is not exactly the Zeta. Oh, there is one more. The other gimmick I didn't show off for the head. When it goes into tank mode, I should lift this up. Boom. Head's gone, kind of. But yeah, there's, that's really about it. It's nothing fantastic. It's a fun little toy. I mean, I probably got it for about $10 overpriced at the time. And, you know, considering how good they are at $10 today, this would be horrible now. But it's a nice piece of history, at least. I mean, you can see my stickers are peeling off. They're not going to go back down without glue. Um, I'm not sure why, but I have screwed up the triangles on the chest. I'm kind of wondering if they got moved somehow after the fact because there's no way I would have done that and not lost my mind. Uh, that's really about it for stickers. 
but we also wanted to oh and you make sure you have to move this out of the way he can't really sit on his treads but there's one more nice little special feature we wanted to have uh, stand him back up get his incredible vertical ability going in look how tall this is look oh oh no it knows what's coming it does not want to play because of what's coming you want to see how tall this guy is let's have another visitor uh oh uh oh hmm yeah that's not he makes it to the knee of Saza Biverka. Yeah, tiny kit, but cheap price, and you'll probably never find it at this point. It's still fun. It was one of my favorites for a long time, just for being cheap, easy, and whatever. But I guess that's all. This is just a brief little silly thing showing off an ancient tiny toy. Bye-bye. Alright guys, I'm back, and the reason why you see Sazabi Verka being compared to this guy is because he and Sazabi are in the same scale. They are both 1 to 100 kits. So just take that in for a minute. It's a 600 yen, 1 to 100 scale, and it doesn't even... The head is still squashed, but we pull that up. Here we go. Even with the head up, it doesn't even come to the top of Sazabi's knee. It's just, it's hilarious. I so. was almost hoping we could keep it as his secret shame. <laughs> Hide the scale. <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta let that out because they're gonna wonder why we compared it. So that's why, <laughs> because they are in the same scale. So we'll let, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and call it at this. And I hope you guys liked this fun little video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, leave us some comments for me and for Max, and listen to us when we do our podcast called MS Report. We've got episode 7, or is it episode 8, that's going to be done here fairly soon. Well, I gave you a link to where to get it off of Dropbox. <laughs> I guess it got lost on Skype, so it should be up sometime soon. It should be. And... Take care of yourselves, guys. We will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.